broadcasting from Studio 300 on Cal Poly's campus. You're watching Mustang News. Hello, Cal Poly. I'm Allison Edmonds. Today is Monday, October 6th, and Mustang News starts now. Cal Poly has voluntarily recalled six varieties of its chocolate bars. The recalled candy bars may be contaminated with peanut, milk, or soy allergens. The bars may also have been exposed to microbial contamination. The peanut butter crunch bar, coffee crunch bar, are just a few of the many chocolate bars that have been recalled. No Ill illnesses have been reported, but the recalled candy bars should not be consumed. Customers who have purchased recalled chocolate bars can return them to the store where they bought them for a full refund. A big name company is coming to Cal Poly's campus to talk to prospective employees. There's a commuting meet and greet event Tuesday, October 7th, 2014 from 5.30 to 7 p.m. You can check with Career Services for location. There's a career fair on Thursday, October 9th from 9.30 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. in the Rec Center, Building 43. There's an Apple Networking Day on Friday, October 10th from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. in the Advanced Technology Labs, Building 7. After the week's events, Apple will be holding interviews Friday afternoon. There's a treat on campus just in time for the Halloween season. The Cal Poly Crops Club is selling pumpkins for Halloween. This is the first year they've sold pumpkins during the first weekend of October. The pumpkin patch is open on Saturday and Sunday from 10 to 2. Large pumpkins cost $5 and white pumpkins are $2 extra. It helps us um, function throughout the rest of the school year and it's it's one of our biggest fundraisers and it helps us bring in people from the industry to come speak at our meetings and have a, a good learning experience. The pumpkin patch can be found in field 25 past the crops unit off of Highland. Pumpkins will also be sold at the corn maze once it opens on October 17th. A new drink is starting to appear more and more around the slow community. Yerba Mate is a beverage made from the stems and leaves of a powerful rainforest tree. It is enriched with antioxidants, vitamins, and minerals to give a more organic caffeine boost. Cal Poly alum Jose Sanchez works for the company Guiaqui and hopes to see it on campus one day. For the full story, watch the 30 minute show on Thursday. Cal Poly welcomed businesses from all around the San Luis Obispo area for the third annual Slow Fest this week. Despite the heat, over 1,000 students made their way to Mott Lawn. Local businesses like Doc Bernstein's, Pluto's, and the Yoga Center gave away special promotions and free items to students who came to Slow Fest. This is the only opportunity for businesses to come on campus during the year. We're happy to be out here at Slow Fest in front of the ki uh, in front of all the students, and um, it's great to get our name out there, let people know where we are downtown. Next year, Cal Poly is hoping to continue expansion and have more businesses come out and participate on campus. After a decade of hibernation, alternative hip hop group Deltron 3030 gave the audience a show they will never forget. Over. Over 800 students rocked out to the supergroup on Friday night in the University Union Plaza. Members Dan the Automator, Del the Funky Homo Sapien, and Kid Koala played hits from their album Deltron 3030, along with their most recent album Event 2. You can catch ASI's next free concert on October 18th on Dexter Lawn. Let's take a look at your weather for the rest of the night and tomorrow. Today we saw a high of 85 degrees and it was mostly sunny throughout the day. Tonight we will see a low of 57 degrees with ranging winds from 5 to 10 miles per hour. It will continue to cool down tomorrow with the high once again being 85 degrees. It will be sunny but the low will be just a little warmer tomorrow night. The low will be 58 degrees tomorrow night with winds once again ranging from 5 to 10 miles per hour. The rest of the week it will continue to cool down and it should be a nice and cool weekend with the weather being in the low 80s and high 70s. That's Mustang News for this Monday. You can tune in to our weekly half hour broadcast that's on Charter Channel 19, UHTV Channel 7, and Campus Channel 2. You can also find constant broadcast coverage on mustangnews.net. Have a great day Cal Poly.